Hi, Bunny. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Susie. Hello, Cynthia. Hi, Marilyn. Hey, Chow. Hello, Kay. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Paula. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Lisa. Jackie. Hey, Jim. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Barb. Oh. To the person that commented on my live stating, I'm not going to subscribe to your channel and your videos. If you're going to say hi to everybody, can you just say hi and get on with it? Um, you should really learn to use YouTube when they are live. It's live, which means I'm waiting for everybody to come in. And if you're going to comment like that, you can go watch someone else's videos because I like saying hi to everybody. Hi, Crystal. So that person can go elsewhere. I like saying hi to you guys, Paula, yeah. Oh yeah, make sure you're on live chat. Good point, Jim. So I had an interesting day today. So um, yesterday was, I cannot believe my son is 16. Yesterday was his 16th birthday. He went over to some friend's house. It's a co-ed party. They had a cake for him and that made me feel good because my son's kind of a social introvert. So for him to have friends that actually threw a little party for him, which was nice. Um, and then today, Leah had ice skating this morning. And then of course we had to go make you know, the obligatory target run, got the laundry done, got the dishes done, like everything done today. Well, I also needed to color the gray hairs. And um, if you guys don't color your own hair, if you do color your own hair and you haven't tried Madison Reed, I highly recommend it. I do have a referral link for Madison Reed. I have been using them since we went into lockdown and I will never go back to regular box color again because this hair color first of all covers my gray and I have a lot of gray hair my mom said I inherited it from my grandmother um so I have a lot of really stubborn gray hairs I'm only 45 and I would say 90 percent of my hair is gray um so and because my hair is naturally dark it's hard to cover up but since I found Madison Reed during lockdown during COVID because I couldn't go to my salon and I was paying like $150 for my salon to color my hair and now I pay 30 some dollars they sent they mail me the color every six weeks and I color it myself it doesn't burn my head it doesn't stink and I that's just every six weeks I know to color my hair so if you haven't tried Madison Reed I have an affiliate I think there's a discount if you use my affiliate link so just try it if you color your own hair anyway off to that. So while I'm rinsing the color out of my hair, my shower, um, what do you call it? The shower, you know, on the hose, the sh whatever, the head, the shower head on the hose breaks off. So I think, okay, maybe it's just unscrewed. I go to screw it back on. I go to rinse my hair again and it breaks off again. It's seven o'clock at night, you guys. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the shower head just broke. We got to go to Lowe's. So luckily Lowe's doesn't close until eight. So I just ran a Lowe's, just put the new shower head on. So Leah's up there taking a shower, testing it out now. Thank goodness I have two bathrooms. So I was able to go into the other bathroom and rinse my hair. But that was my, my drama for the night. It's the only drama I need. I don't need any extra drama. <laughs> okay. Um, so I posted some pictures earlier. Um where I don't know why I have this small addiction with paste and um, I posted a picture of this 
um, which is, um, st I left it upstairs because I was cleaning it. It's a TCW stencil. You can get it at scrapbook.com. I have a link. And it is called Joyful Mini Sunflower. Mini Joyful Sunflower. So it's TCW. And this is a, like a five and a five and a half by five and a half square, I believe. Okay. And hi, Wanda. Welcome. And I mix this with some stencil butters. And I used Gamboge. I'll show you what I used here because I swatched them all out. I used Gamboge, which is like a golden yellow. Then on the inside here, I used a new color called Apricot. You can see here and then for the middle I use chocolate and I use some paper glaze brown dahlia and then for the green we use some cosmic shimmer glitter glitter paste okay and what I was really doing was kind of seeing how they mix and swatching them out and what I noticed was there's like 20 colors of stencil butter and these are the original colors and you can buy them in a four pack or you can buy them individually okay um, and if you get them from scrapbook.com there really isn't a difference if you order them individually or order them in a four pack. They're around the same price. So what I say is get the colors you like, but the original colors they have, so crimson, marigold, gamboge, chartreuse, turquoise, terra verte, lime green, ocean, orchid, and fuchsia. These all came out a couple of years ago and you can see all of that shiny goodness mica in them, right? You guys can see that. Very bright colors. It's a two ounce um, bottle or jar of, and there's this beautiful mica in here. Well, they came out with some new colors just recently, and I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. Well, I got them, and they're darker. So this one is called Jewel Tones, and it comes with terracotta, barn do door, eggplant, and denim. And out of these, the eggplant and the denim does have some mica, but it's not as shiny as the original. And the other colors, I would say, are more satin. So they don't have that mica in there. They're shiny. So terracotta, apricot, yellow ochre, and chocolate. Those four. Terracotta, apricot, yellow ochre, and chocolate. In fact, they might come in. Terracotta comes in this one. They all have more of a satin finish. So it's not as shimmery and shiny as these are. These are more of a satin finish on those colors. Terracotta, apricot, yellow ochre, and chocolate. Which I was surprised because I thought they were all going to be shimmery like the originals are. So I always, you know, swatch them out. And then I also have, some, I kept calling it, it is Picket Fence. Picket Fence Paper Glaze. And then I have that in Golden Rose. Artemis, Artemisia Silver, Brown Dahlia, and Black Pansy. And they're kind of the same way. They have some shine to them. But if you really like this shiny mica, then you want to look at Lunar Paste because Lunar Paste are much brighter in colors. So they have, I think there's 15 or 16 colors of Lunar Paste now. So we have Game Over, Bee Sting, Traffic Cone, Roar, Shooting Star, Slippery When Wet, Psych, Later Gator, Minty Fresh, Fake Plant, Tropical Tango, Clear Skies, Midnight Snack, Triple Berry, and Prom Queen. And you can see that the colors themselves are brighter and all of them have mica in them. So in terms of which one is better, I'm going to tell you guys right now, they're exactly the same. It's just a matter of what kind of colors you're attracted to. I do believe the Lunar Paste are a little cheaper um, than the Stencil Butter. So it's just a matter of mixing and matching. So everybody was like, how do they compare? Which one would you buy? Well, I bought all of them. So... <laughs> I can tell you that I like them for different reasons. And there really aren't any kind of like duplicate in colors. Um, they are all different. The only one that came close was these two. That's the only one that came close was Midnight Snack and Denim. But all the other colors, um, they're all different. They're all different. 
Um, so lunar paste is a little bit cheaper and the lunar paste you also get, it's a two ounce jar. This is Simon Hurley's collection. And again, you can pick all of these up from scrapbook.com. Um, how long do they last once they're open? So that is the question. So I found out the hard way that, uh, Nouveau Mousse, Gina K, um, they all got hard after a little while and dried up. So we're going to see how long these go. I've started to do this on all of my open jars. Um, you, What you want to do is not only put the plastic wrap, this is press and seal in there, but you're supposed to press this down and press all the air out of it. So it's really supposed to go all the way down in there and touch, like almost have a skin layer on top of your paste. Um, but... I haven't had any issues yet with any of these. So I have just a few picket fence paper glaze, but mostly I have all of the lunar paste now and I have all of the TCW stencil butter. So I don't have a preference other than looking at what colors do I have. And of course I have all the colors of the rainbow. And then the reason I got the new stencil butters is because they went into these kind of fall neutral colors this terracotta, apricot, yellow ochre, fern, the chocolate. You know, those are our fall colors. And normally I have a leaf stencil and I can't find it right now. Um, and I like to do those. And because they're, they don't have the mica in them, they're more of a satin finish. They don't have all that glittery in them. That's okay too, because for fall, you know, you don't need all of that. And you can put clear glitter over top. But I don't have a preference. I like both of them. I like the brightness of the Lunar Paste. They all have the colored mica in there, so it's very pretty and shiny. But I do like some of these more neutral colors. Now, Simon just launched these at the end of last year, I think it was, or two years ago. Um, so Simon's been adding a couple more so they match his inks. So he's been adding on. So right now, I think there's 15... Fifteen lunar pace. And eighteen of the stencil butters. Um, so it's just a matter of preference. That's all. They both work great. They mix well together. They play well together. So you can mix and match. And it's just like I tell you guys when it comes to, you know, your your markers and things. Sometimes there's a superior difference and sometimes it's the same and it's just a matter of your preference. Um, so you get the two ounce jar out of both of them. Um, but the Lunar Paste, I believe, is a dollar cheaper. Yeah. So, um, and then the Paper Glaze seems to be the same. All right, so I wanted to, we'll stencil this out. This is the, I don't know what it's called. This is also from TCW, and this is called Fur Branch. So this is a six by six stencil. I have my little mini waffle flower mat out. I did spray this with some pixie spray. If you're gonna do stencils with paste, I do recommend pixie spray. And then that'll just kind of hold it down. And we'll just see what this looks like. And we'll just mix all three of these paste. And then we set it aside to let it dry. And it, I think that looks cool because I have the two different colors. Some shine, some not so shiny. And then I added the glitter for a little extra kick. And this is what happens when your stencil doesn't have pixie spray on it and your paste gets under your stencil. So just be careful. And pixie spray, especially for something that's as detailed as this, is a good idea. So I'm going to start with the Picket Fence Paper Glaze Brown Dahlia. Yeah, and Geraldine, shimmery goodness is great. And you can tint shimmery goodness. You can tint it with... Um, Reinkers, you can tint it with sprays, you can tink it, tint it with um, color burst powders. So if you just have a big jar of shimmery goodness, that's okay too. And you just tint it the way you want it. And I'm just using my palette light knife and just going in and trying to add this only where, or trying to only go where the pine cones are. You know, I'm not gonna be 100% here, but that's the fun of playing with stencils. You can spray through them, you can ink through them, you can put paste through them. So there's a lot of versatility in stencils. It's just how much time do you wanna take and how messy do you wanna get? And we are gonna talk about um, 
stamp timber too in a second here. How many of you guys got the kitchen sink stamps, stamp timber, butterfly kisses? I think there's a few left, not very many. I checked earlier today and said there were only seven sets left. Paula got them, okay. And then I just take a Clorox wipe and I wipe this off. I'm not gonna clean my stencil yet. I will take that up to the sink in a moment. Put this plastic wrap back down. So, um, Simon Says Stamp, if you've never heard of them, they're a big online company. Um, every September, they do Stamp Timber, and I'm very lucky. I think this is my third or fourth year to be able to participate in Stamp Timber, so I'm very grateful to be able to participate in it as a design team member for Simon Sa for Kitchen Sink Stamps. I'm just gonna mix my fern and my fake plant here and just do the green. So I'll do, ooh, I should have did a little bit of brown there. Um, so what, every day in September, they release a limited edition stamp set by different collabs with different stamp companies. So there was Gina K. There was Kitchen Sink Stamps. Um, there will be, I haven't seen it yet, Tim Holtz, um, Colorado Craft Company. So once, it's a limited edition. Once it sells out, it's sold out. So um, if there is a particular company you like, like Tim Holtz or something, then you want to make sure that you jump on that and it's at midnight. They release it at midnight, okay? And once it sells out, it sells out. Like Gina K's sold out in 30 minutes, you guys. She Her whole thing sold out in 30 minutes. So um, as a design team member, it is very exciting because it is a limited edition stamp set. Um, you know, I know that I'm getting it before anybody else is and I'm going to get a chance to play with it and make a video and take pictures and, you know, like my designs are now, if you go to Simon Says Stamp and you look up their kitchen sink stamps um, for that particular stamp set, there's my pictures on there, you know, so it's very exciting that it kind of brings to some people who've never heard of them, it brings their name. But let me tell you the behind the scenes of that and as a consumer, how I feel about that. So um, there's there's been a lot of people and it hasn't come to me, thank goodness, because I think you guys all kind of understand it. But there are a lot of people who miss out and then they complain. Like they complain to the design team members, they complain to the companies and that's not fair. So this is something that is, is, you know, really explain to everybody far in advance that these are limited edition sets. Everybody says it in their video. And once it sells out, that's it. It's gone. It's sold out. There is no back order. There is no, hey, we'll restock it and call you. Once it's sold out, it's sold out. So, how I feel about it as a design team member is it's very exciting to be a part of that, but it's not sponsored by the company who's designing the stamp. In other words, Kitchen Sink Stamps designs the stamp or Colorado Craft Company or whoever it is. They design the stamp and then Simon Says Stamp produces it, manufactures it, sells it, ships it, so that's why for kitchen sink stamps, if you are a kitchen sink stamps um, shopper, you know that kitchen sink stamps does not sell dyes. They don't offer dyes. They don't sell dyes. They only do electronic SVGs. But if you buy the stamp timber set, you have an option to get dyes, um, which has sold out, by the way. That's always the first one to sell out because kitchen sink stamps doesn't sell dyes with their stamps because it's, again, manufactured, distributed, paid for everything is through simon says stamp so it has nothing to do with kitchen sink stamps other than kitchen sink stamps designed it kitchen sink stamps will help promote it which is why me and tracy were part of that um, kind of promotion but it is not sold by kitchen sink stamps it is not mailed by kitchen sink stamps um it's the dyes have nothing to do with kitchen it's all through simon says stamp 
So if it sells out and you don't get a chance to get it, you can't say, well, I'll just wait for kitchen sink stamps to get it. They won't get it, okay? They don't know how many stamps are produced. They, they just design it. So I want you guys to understand that because if there is a particular company that you like, like Gina K or Tim Holtz or whatever, you need to jump on that at basically 1130 at night. You need to set your alarm, get up, and be ready to buy it at 1130 at night. Um, from a consumer standpoint, I feel 50-50 on it. Um, I like it because it's cool to get something limited edition. It's kind of like winning at getting one, but I don't like it because there's not enough for everybody. And if it's something I missed out on, um, I'm not going to get a chance to get it unless somebody sells it used or what I really hate about it as a consumer is there are people that I basically call them scalpers, like scalping tickets. Look how pretty this came out with the two different colors of green and the brown. See that? So as a consumer, I don't like it because if I missed out and there are people that buy three, four, five, six sets and then they sell them on eBay and say that set was normally, you know, $25. Now it's on eBay for $50 or more because it's a limited edition set. And that's what I don't like about it. So if you're someone who likes the stamp set and you want to get it, jump on it quickly. Um, and if you're one of those people, and I know there's probably a couple on here that buy it and say, well, um, I'll just get it and I'll use it a couple times and then I probably won't use it and I'll sell it. That's okay too, because you're going to sell it as used. But if you're one of those people that's going to buy it and then sell it for $100, $150 or whatever, um, I, I think that that's kind of shady. I think that's not cool to people that really have interest in collecting certain artists. Like, I know the Colorado craft one, that artist, like, a lot of people like to collect her stamps. Um, and you're not giving those people a shot. And for you to say, well, I got up at midnight and I bought them and I have the right to sell them. You know, karma is going to come back around to those kinds of people. So, um, you know, if, you, if you're one of those people... It just, you know, it's just not fair. I get buying one or two sets. I, I get one set as a design team member and I usually do buy two sets and I buy two sets with my money and I don't get a discount. And by the way, we don't get any affiliate commission from Simon Says Stamp. We are, we are strictly doing it just to try to put our name out there so that you guys will watch our videos or, you know, watch our Instagram posts or whatever. We don't get anything because as a design team member, our company isn't getting commission on that. It's being sold through Simon Says Stamp. So I buy two every year. I usually send one to one of my friends um, who lives overseas, and I send it to her as a Christmas gift because it would cost way too much for her to get it for shipping. So I send it to her as Christmas, and then I usually get an extra one that I will give away um, as a giveaway on my channel. So I do buy two to support the stamp timber release and I do end up giving those two away but I don't buy five or ten and then turn around and hold on to them and put them on eBay and I just I don't like that part of it I think it's very shady now the other part of that is if you're someone who says listen I'm not falling for this gimmick because the other thing I don't like is you have to pay shipping every time I did buy the Gina K set and I had to pay whatever it was, $7.99 for shipping. And then when I bought the Kitchen Sink Stamps one, you know, they're in the same week. I had to pay for it again and pay for the shipping. So for me, I hated that because it's not like I could put it in the basket and say, hey, can you just ship everything all at once? Nope. You have to pay shipping every single time. There's no discount. There's no coupon codes. There's nothing like that. Um... And so, you know, that's the other thing that kind of sucks is, you know, now I've paid $16 in shipping for two stamp sets that are coming my way this week. Um, if you're someone who just doesn't like it, you know, and you want to complain, I'm going to ask you not to complain because there's no one you can complain to, honestly. Um, it's a very popular program with Simon Says Stamp. A lot of people like it. A lot of people like the thrill of it. 
A lot of people like the limited edition. It's fun. You don't know what's going to come out until midnight, and then you have to be the fastest one to get it. So, you know, there's some anticipation there that people enjoy. It's a limited edition stamp set that you're never going to see again. Um, and then there are people that say, hey, that's not fair. There's not enough for everybody, and I couldn't get it at midnight, or I live overseas, and shipping is too much. Complaining to the companies that design for it isn't going to help you because, again, they're not the ones that are facilitating this. And I don't think complaining to Simon Says Stamp is going to do anything because they do very well with it. And complaining to design team members, we don't have any control of it, okay? We're, we're sent stamps just like we are all the time we do design team stuff. And it's our job just to make something pretty out of it, okay? Um, So I'm just going to ask you not to complain. If it's your thing, hey, good for you. If it's not your thing, move along, okay? Um, but I want to show you guys that there are, with kitchen sink stamps, there are alternatives. And that's what I like about kitchen sink stamps is if, right, exactly, Melanie, if you really want it and you have to use it, you'll buy it. Exactly. Like, I did get the Gina K. I did get two of these to give away. Um... Yeah, I, I think I did get the Gina, like the tail end of the Gina K. I didn't get the dies for the Gina K. Um, yeah, and, and here's the other thing. We are like sworn to secrecy. We're not allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to mention it. You guys are not supposed to know who's coming up at midnight. So when companies do that, they're breaking the rules, okay? They're not supposed to say what's coming out they're not supposed to say who it is they're not supposed to say what it is you're not supposed to get any sneak peeks like they're breaking the rules when they do that so here is the stamp set from kitchen sink stamps like i said i think there's a couple left not very many it was sold two ways it was sold as a set just like this which i believe is still available for 24.99 there are only a few left you may not i don't even know if there's any honestly um, and then it was sold with three dies, which were just the butterfly dies. So one butterfly, two butterfly, three butterfly dies, and that was $34.99. That's already sold out. Keep in mind, if you did purchase this stamp set, Kitchen Sink Stamps is offering an SVG. What is an SVG? Well, an SVG will electronically cut out all of these pieces for you with your Cricut Joy, your Silhouette, your Scan and Cut. Yeah, there's only one one left, which is just the card, okay? Um, and with the Kitchen Sink Stamps SVG, you're not only going to get the three butterflies, you're going to get a butterfly and a butterfly outline. You're going to get, so you're going to get six butterflies. You're going to get the outside and the inside of the butterfly. You're going to get all of these sentiments. So all of the sentiments that are on here, you're going to get dies for all of those. And she threw in some extra, like, banners, like these little banners. So all of this came off the SVG, okay? And all you need is, it's 99 cents, you guys. So you don't need the dies. If you have an electronic die cutting system, 99 cents, you can cut as many butterflies as you want. So here you can see this is the outside, and then this is the inside, the shadow layer, I should say, okay? And you just stamp on these, and then... However you want those sentiments to be. So this is actually for 99 cents a better value because you're not taking up space with the dies. You're saving $10 on the price of the stamps and it's only 99 cents to cut all of these out and you can cut them out as many times as you want on your Cricut Silhouette, Scan and Cut, whatever. Okay. She did. She included, and then she sent all these little banners so you can do all the little sentiments. So she includes a lot. Now, if you missed out on this or you didn't feel like dealing with all of that, because I know some of you guys are watching this on the replay and maybe missed out on it or didn't know what it was about, right? Um, Kitchen Sink Stamps has another Butterfly Stamps, okay? Right, it's 99 cents, instant download, no shipping, right. Um, and that is the original Butterflies. So let me grab mine. 
And by the way, I showed this stamp in my video. I didn't know it was retired, so Grand Peony is retired. Okay, so this stamp set is available all the time at Kitchen Sink Stamps. Yes, Karen, I love Kelly Taylor. So um, this is the original three-step butterfly. So if you missed out on this or didn't want to spend the $24 or $34 on it, you have the option of going to Kitchen Sink Stamps anytime and getting the three-step butterflies. And I wanted to show you the comparison. It's the same high-quality photopolymer stamp, so that that doesn't change. You still get the color layering guide. Now, mine's a little older, but you still get the color layering guide. You get the instructions, which mine's old, so I don't have one. Um, and there's still going to be 3D layering. And here's what the difference is. She basically blew these butterflies up. Okay. So you notice here we have this butterfly that's flying to the right. This guy here. That's this guy. But he's a little bigger. So here you can see the size here and the size here. So he's a little bit bigger. Okay. This butterfly is this butterfly, so he's much bigger. He's the biggest butterfly on this set, but he's only a medium butterfly on this set. And then the tiny little butterfly here is the smaller butterfly here. So if you missed out, or again, you don't want to deal with all of that, I like that Kitchen Sink Stamps gave you an option to go back to their website and get their original. And this one comes with a monarch. You don't get that with this one. So you get a nice big butterfly with that. So if you missed out, go check out Kitchen Sink Stamps. You can purchase an SVG for 99 cents and get this. And this set has been around a very long, long time. This is one of my first Kitchen Sink Stamp sets. It's tried and true and I use it all the time and I love it. And it goes well with all of her scenes and florals. And we have a discount. It's 10% off. It's KSS FSC. It gets you 10% off. And if you guys use my link, I do get a small commission for that. Um, so I just wanted to bring that up is, you know, from a designer standpoint, it is cool because, again, I got to create these beautiful cards. I did make two videos if you guys want to check those out. Um, with these stamp set, Leah helped me make a little TikTok where my butterflies are flying across the card, which was kind of cool. But from a consumer standpoint, I get it. I understand the frustration. I get it if, you know, it's not fair. You missed out. You didn't get it. So Kitchen Sink Stamps makes another option for you guys. So if you don't get that one, and it's... Here's the other thing, too, is it's limited edition. So finding people like inspiration you only get the inspiration from stamp timber but like i i can't make another video with this for you guys to buy because you can't buy it anymore like i'll make videos showing it but i feel bad if i have to say well this isn't available anymore so you don't usually see me show stuff that's retired because i feel terrible saying you can't get it except for this case i messed up but um so if you just saying, you might already have this in your stash. So from a consumer standpoint, I'm giving you another option. You don't get the sentiments, Kelly, but I'm sure you have a lot of stamps where you got other sentiments. But yes, these sentiments are super cute. Yes. Cynthia watched them. And make sure you watch. Oh, Jan got her cutting plates. Great. Um, make sure you... Um, watch Tracy's videos too. Tracy did a video, a nice slimline video. There are a lot of people that did videos, so if you get it. Okay, so the link, we're going to give you guys the link here for Kitchen Sink Stamps and the code. And if you want free money, we have at our Facebook group, which is Foiling Snobs Club, if you go to Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook and you enter the card challenge, it's called the Kitchen Sink Stamps Foiling Snobs Club or KSS FSC 
That's a mouthful. Card, card challenge. Um, we pick a winner at the end of the month, and somebody's going to win a gift card to Kitchen Sink Stamps. And you can enter no matter where you live, because it's a gift, it's an electronic gift card. So if you are in UK, Canada, Australia, wherever, you can use the gift card. Now, you're going to have to pay for your shipping, obviously. Um... Oh, chow, you are on top of it. Thank you. Um, but if you enter the card challenge, so you have two weeks left to enter the current card challenge, which is new beginnings, butterfly symbol, new beginnings. So if you enter the card challenge, we will pick a winner at the end of the month and then we'll notify you that we picked a winner and then you'll email us your um, email address so we can let Kitchen Sink Stamps know. And I think it's $20. It could be $20. It's $20 or $25. I can never remember. But it's a gift card to Kitchen Sink Stamps. So if you've been eyeing up this stamp set, um, enter the card challenge. You could win, and then you can use the gift card for that. Yep. Oh, thank you, Chai. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Kelly. My sister's name is Kelly. <clears throat> All right, so I wanted to show you guys the difference between stencil butters and lunar paste and again i would just say use whatever colors you like i like them both i mix them all the time and here you can see what this will look really cool when it dries because i'll have this nice dimension and i'll have some sparkle in it but we have mixed all three here so i have lunar paste i have picket fence um paste and i have stencil butter from tcw and this is a tcw stencil and then I also have this one, which has dried. And I would say let them dry overnight. I mean, this, I mean, they only really take about a half an hour, an hour to dry. Maybe two hours, okay? Depending on how thick you put it on. But some of this has some shine to it. Some of it doesn't. And I just like to layer the different colors. These are really cool if you are doing layering stencils. So I know layering stencils are all the rage right now. So if you have layering stencils from the Ton or Picket Fence or any of those companies, save the lunar paste for the last layer and it adds this extra dimension and it makes your card pop and there's a lot of shimmer and shine in these um this one was a glitter paste that i did um but it's fun to just incorporate these into your cards and i don't know why in the fall is really when i'm drawn to them but um, these are great all year round. If you guys are making holiday cards and you have a whole bunch of holiday stencils, you just make sure you have some um, stencil spray. This stencil spray has really made a difference. Pixie spray. It doesn't smell bad. It takes a minute to set. So once you spray the back of your stencil, give it a minute and then it will hold all these finer little pieces down. And you can get a really nice crisp image with your stencils when you're doing this kind of stuff. And I just used regular 100, I think this is 100 pound cardstock. Nothing special, no watercolor, it's just thick cardstock. Yeah, you can see all of that shine and shimmer in there. So there's a lot of companies. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't think you're going to use this a lot, just buy yourself a big jar of shimmery goodness. I'll show you that. So you can get a big jar, um, I think on my Amazon shop we have it, but you can get a big jar of this, and this is basically a pearlescent paste, okay? And you can mix um, watercolor tint in here, in other words, like the color burst powders, the brush show powders, you can mix reinkers in here, um, any company, by the way, and you can make your own color in small batches. So you can make a small batch of brown or make a small batch of green. The more you add to it, the darker the color is going to be. Um, but this is this. If you don't think you're going to use every single color, here's another option just to save you some money. Get a big jar of this. This is eight ounces. You can see I put my paste on there. And here's another secret: is this stuff foils, you guys. So Tracy does it all the time with this. Um, if you want to add a little pizzazz to your image, you can run this through your mink machine and the foil will stick to it. So as this heats up, now the whole thing will get covered, but be, it's very organic looking because you see the highs and lows in the paste, right? You can see where 
I'm not completely, you know, perfect with my spatula. So you can see there's little valleys and mountains and things. So when you put the uh, foil over this, it's very like all over the place. It's not perfect. Um, so it's just a lot of fun to play with this stuff and you can, you can foil over it. So this is nice for a nice like tone on tone effect. It's a very light pearl, um, but you can mix it to any of these colors, honestly. So if you don't feel like buying 16 colors, you can make your own with this stuff. So it's an, it's another option. All right. Somebody asked, oops, where'd my comments go? What is, these, I don't know. Um, Chow, what are these? <laughs> I think they're in my Amazon shop. I think Chow sent me these. So remember I told you guys I've been trying to organize little by little. So I started to put their dew drops. Their dew drops. But Chow sent me, I believe Chow sent me both of these. And I think they're in my Amazon shop. So one was like greens and blues. And one was like pinks and purples. Um, and I just put them in these jars. Um, and, I, and I put them all around. I just thought, oh, that's fun to put those on there. So... I think they're in my Amazon shop. We'll find them for you guys. So the Amazon shop, I don't actually own an Amazon shop, you guys. <laughs> I make recommendations. So are things we use that we find that we can find on Amazon, because a lot of times with Amazon, you guys get free shipping um, if you have Amazon Prime. Um, so they have some different ones. Yeah, and if you have any questions, join us at the Foiling Snobs Club. And if you want to email me, please use this email. Um, I get messages, and I got to tell you, Messenger is like my nightmare. Um, it eats messages. I don't get messages. It puts them in the, this might be spam dangerous, don't answer it. I will never see it. Uh, and that happens on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to get a hold of me, Foiling Snobs Club, Chow has access to that. Stacy and Tracy also have access to that. So they can check the email more frequently than I can. As you guys know, I'm on the road for my job. I'm literally in the car like four to six hours a day, depending on where I'm going. So I don't have a chance to keep in touch with the group. I mean, I'll try to check it at lunch and stuff like that. But Chow does the best job at checking on the group, reading the emails, and she'll say, Nancy, there's an email in there for you. So if you want to email me, foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com is your best way to get a hold of me if you have any questions. And my team is very versed on foiling. Um, they each understand how I do things. And if they don't, they'll ask me and say, hey, Nancy, somebody needs a question answered, and then we'll answer. But join our group, Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook, we have the most amazing group of people. I, I challenge any other group to say that because um, everybody there is so helpful, is so nice, is so kind, and they want to help you out, not just in card making in general, but um, obviously we, we, foc we focus on foiling, so hot foiling, toner foiling, um, any of those things will help you out. Yeah, I'll go find the colored ones on Amazon and I'll link it for you guys. Little dew drops. Little dew droppy drops. Okay, guys. I just wanted to drop in and say hi. There are a lot of releases coming out this week. So make sure you keep an eye on our YouTube um, channels. Chow, I think Chow's releases are coming out on her YouTube this week. Chow, is that correct? 14? <clears throat> yeah, you can color them. Yep, so um, we have design team videos going up. I think I have two videos every day, you guys, this week. I'm so tired. I know Tracy's got some videos. Chow's got four videos. 
Um, and, you know, just watch them. We don't ask you guys to, you know, you don't always have to go buy stuff. But I think watching our videos hopefully gives you some inspiration. Always look to see if you have something in your stash first. It's nice to be able to buy stuff all the time, but we get it. We understand. The kids are back in school. We have the man in the red suit around the corner. So if you watch our YouTube channels and don't buy anything, even watching our channels supports us because we get a couple of pennies from YouTube. And if you do decide to buy anything from watching our videos, if you guys can go down to the description and click the links, that really helps us out because we do get a small commission for being on these design teams. So all that work we put into the video helps us. And then when we get that money in our PayPal account, Nancy goes and buys things like stencil butter <laughs> so I can show it to you guys. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. I almost forgot. One more thing. Two hours later. Okay. Um, this is... So there is an Etsy shop, and I believe she's in our group, called Make It by Marco. Okay? And she makes all kinds of things. Glue holders, brush holders, tidy towel holders, all kinds of things. So this is the original brush holder that... I think Tracy got me this for Christmas. And I put a four inch Lazy Susan. The four inch Lazy Susan, this comes from Amazon. You get two of them, okay? So this is a four inch Lazy Susan from Amazon. But all of my little brushes fit in here, my little blending brushes. Well, I outgrew it. How fun is that? Okay, and then I put a little, I put a little basket in there and put some more in there, okay? And I needed another one. So I went on the website this week. Oh, Chow got it for me. I knew it was one of you two. And this is Make It by Marco on Etsy. We don't have any kind of affiliate or anything with them. You can say Nancy Stamp sent me if you wanted to. But this is the cake three tier. I think she calls it the cake topper one. So I glued the other four inch Lazy Susan on the bottom here. See that? And this comes in three pieces, and you you basically, well, you'll get instructions. You put it together. You just turn and snap. That's all you do. Turn and snap. It'll go together. And I now have three tiers of brushes. So I have my Picket Fence brushes. These are my Catherine Pooler brushes. I have my, these rainbow ones are in my Amazon shop. I have new ones from Spellbinders. So this is kind of cool because now I have three tiers of brushes. This is the triple tier. I think it's called the cakes. I keep thinking cake tier, cake tier. But it comes in three pieces. Maybe I can take this top portion off so you guys can see it. And I think it holds like 20 brushes. And this just twists on and twists off. So it comes in three pieces. And shipping was fast, by the way. Nope, I guess once it's assembled, it's assembled. But literally, you put this on, you click it into place, level medium or middle layer, top layer, click, click, and it's on. And this is a very long center. So if you wanted to use that for storage, you could. Um, I don't have anything that long to put in there. So, But I wanted to share with you guys, Make It by Marco. Let's support these small companies and get your little 3D printed brush holder here. And then you get the little four inch Lazy Susan from my little Amazon shop. And then, of course, you know, I got to put them all in here in rainbow order. But I love now I have all my Catherine Pooler brushes, my rainbow brushes, my picket fence brushes. Um, who else just came out with brushes? I just got new brushes from Spellbinders. So I got Spellbinders brushes now. So all different sizes. And all these different brushes you can pick up. But I have links for all of them. <laughs> Will it fit into a Gina K holder? I don't know what a Gina K holder is. So Melanie makes a good point. She has had her brushes cross contaminate each other because they were touching, it doesn't happen. So when you're using dye inks in particular, dye inks stay kind of wet, they stay on your brush. I mean, you can see I just touched my finger to that and my finger turned black, right? So if they are stuck like they are here and they're touching each other, I mean, here's a perfect example. 
this red brush was touching this brush and now this brush is red, okay? So having these little organizers where they're separated, first of all, it looks cool. Second of all, it's fun to play with, I'm not gonna lie. But third, you wanna keep your brushes apart. The other thing you can do is they do sell these kind of um, toppers. I'm not a huge fan of them. One, it's a pain in the butt to take them off and put them back on and remember which color goes with what. Like, I can see that one's pink and I put it on a blue one. That's probably not a good idea. But um, sometimes my bristles get smashed with these. Now, I have these because one of the girls sent them to me and I said I would try them out. So if you're somebody who, you know, has that, you don't have this organizer, you can get these. I'm not a huge fan of them. I, I won't be buying them. I would sent them, so I'm gonna use them, obviously. If you're traveling, it's a great idea. Look at, um, but I think that these little brush stands are perfect because you can see which color's which, and it's just fun to play with. It's like a little carnival on my desk. Whee! Yeah, all these these tiers, there's three tiers. There's a bottom, a middle, and a top on this one. And they, they go in and they click into place. And once they're on, they're on. It's just fun, yeah. So it's Make It by Marco on Etsy. And I believe she is in our Foiling Snobs Club group. So you can post on there. Hey, we got this because Nancy told us to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I have them on the corner of my desk. So as soon as I go into ink blending, I pull them down onto my desk and they're good to go. And you just got to search it on Etsy. I'm sure that I'll, I'll find it. I'll put it in the link for you. Yes, we are, Karen. Yes, we are. Uh, look at Chow. Isn't she the best? Oh, oh, one last reminder and then I'm going to go away. For those of you who have not bought any of our merch, Leah, do you have merch on? Yeah. <gasps> Can I have that a second? Can you just take it off and give it to me a second? Just for one second. I was wearing my new sweatshirt today at Leah's Ice Skating and it was so nice and soft. But we have shirts and sweatshirts and things now. We have magnets. Um, we have little handkerchiefs for the dog. Here's the little magnet. It's just a tiny little magnet. But if you have not purchased any new merch, wait until the 13th because there's free shipping at the merch shop starting on the 13th. It's only for a few days. The free shipping is free shipping. Um, here's one of the shirts. And we have black logos and white logos. This is one of the original ones. Leah wears this shirt like every day. Um... So you can get them in a black logo or a white logo, um, but that, the, starting the 13th, so in two more days, right, um, free shipping, free shipping. If you are, um, if you're, if you're round shaped like I am, you might want to go a little size larger. I like the men's 2X or the men's 3X. Um, I'm normally, um, an extra, extra large in ladies, but the ladies shirts are very form fitting and they're very snug. And if you have a mom body, like I got, go with the men's t-shirt. They do shrink in the wash a little bit. So the men's two X, or if you like them really big, the men's three X is very baggy. I looked at totes, but they were super expensive. You guys. They were, I mean, I can put them in there. Oh, yes, I'm going to have to do international. They do have an international shop. I got to set the time to set it up for you guys. Let me write that down. Let me write it down. Um, how many people are going to come and see me and Tracy at the York Stamp Show? How many? Everybody. That's October 8th. Um, the sale is now over. If you guys missed it, I believe the deadline has passed for the 20% off at Crafty Critta. 
So if you missed out, shame on you. But if you didn't miss out, good for you. Because I think you're going to be very happy with what you got. But we're going to have our show. Um, thanks, Dace. We're going to have our show. It's a small show. It's Saturday, October the 8th. And Tracy and I will be teaching a foiling um, class. Leah, do you want to hand me one of those boxes? I'll give you guys a rough idea of what the box is going to look like. Leah, can you hand me one of those boxes? Leah! <laughs> I'm waiting. The merch should get here any day now. It's coming all the way from Australia. Hand me one of those little white boxes you were putting together. So I'm going to give you guys a makeshift of basically what it's going to look like. All right, so how we have done this is I'm creating these boxes and inside the box you will get, oh, thanks, Michelle, I will check. Okay, good, so Michelle is in Australia, so she's pretty good at helping us out with this stuff. So you have until midnight, if you have not taken advantage of the 20% off, the code is FSC20, at Crafty Critter. So you have until midnight because of the time difference. FSC20. And what you're going to get in the class is everybody's going to get their own brand new Dusty Dusty brush. You're going to get a pack of foil art. You're going to get a pack of toner sheets. You're going to get a whole roll of toner foil. You're also going to get some kind of adhesive thingy. Okay. And you're also going to get um, cards, card bases. Okay, so in the class, Tracy and I, you're going to get this beautiful box. We're also going to have FSC stickers in there. So let me put one of those in there. You'll get one of the new logo ones. Okay, so basically you're going to get all of this and you're going to get a nice box. And these boxes are great for spray boxes, by the way. Um, and you're going to get this class. And what Tracy and I are going to teach you is how to use your toner foil and how to use the waste foil. So you're going to make two cards in our class on how to use the toner foil and then you're gonna have leftover foil. Whenever we foil, we always have this leftover foil, right? What do we do with this? You don't throw it away, you make another card out of it. So we're gonna show you how to use those really awesome colored toner sheets from Crafty Krita and make an extra card. And if you don't have if you don't, they are the only company that have colored toner sheets. No other company in the world has these colored toner sheets. They have 20, I think we said 21 colors of these colored toner sheets. So take advantage. You only have a couple of hours left of getting 20% off. So if you can't make the class, make your own class. Buy some toner sheets, buy some foil, buy some foil art. Um, the foil art is high quality fo foil art. This is one of their new designs, by the way. This is called Circle Backgrounds. Um, but you get eight sheets of that. You get eight sheets of the toner sheets. They come in all different colors. If your favorite color is purple and you only want purple, you can just buy purple. Um, they have hot foil. They have toner foil. They have all of this toner art. They have all of these colored toner sheets. Um, they have gel press. I mean, they have everything. Just go over there and take a look. And you guys are going to get 20% off. And what has made this an even better deal is that you get the conversion for the dollar right now is super strong for the Americans. So if you are in the U.S. and it would normally be um, $20 a product in Australia, it's only going to cost you $14 in U.S., so it's totally worth it because you're getting 20% off with the code FSC20 and you're also going to get the conversion, which is stronger on the U.S. dollar side on, than the Australian side. So totally worth it. There's only a few hours left. They've been running this sale for almost two weeks for us. Um, and this um, helps Tracy and I 
with the product that we need for you guys in the class. Yes, so what I'm going to do, Karen, is for those who cannot make it to the class, if we have any of these boxes left, we're going to sell them. You'll have to pay shipping on them, obviously, but we will sell them, and then Tracy and I will set up private Zoom classes um, for those classes. So obviously, I know not everybody's close to Pennsylvania and doesn't want to drive to come and see us. <laughs> um, that's perfectly fine. We will set up private classes. So if you want to if you want to do private class with us and you can purchase one of the boxes or if you want to just, you know, when we will do a class without purchasing the box, you're going to need all of these things so you know what we're doing. Um their bundles, Jim, thank you for reminding me. There are a couple of the bundles have sold out very fast. The bundles come with a lot of foil art and a lot of foil, and they are discounted 15%. And if you use your code on top of that, you're getting 35% off the bundles. So go to craftycrita.com, it's craftycrita.com, and use the code FSC20. And again, it comes from Australia. See our cute little koala. Very rigorously tested by myself, okay? Empress of foiling. You guys know I'm always honest with you. And if something doesn't work, I'm going to tell you it doesn't work, right? So this company has come out with high quality foil art. You don't need a laser printer. It's all done for you already. They've already done it for you. All you need to do is pick out your foil, cut this down, to where you want it. They give you the instructions here on how to use it with um, a laminator if you want. You cut it down, you put the foil that you want on there, and you run it through your mink or your laminator. When you have that extra foil left over, that's where these toner sheets come in. So they come in a variety of different colors, 21 different colors to be exact. And then you foil this on top of the colored toner sheet. So there is no waste in foil. And for you folks that do hot foiling, this is the leftover from the hot foiling. Oh, you're not supposed to see that yet. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Never mind. Um, <laughs> this one you're allowed to see. All right. So leftover from the hot foiling. Clearly, Nancy's been very busy. Um you can use that on the toner sheet. So it doesn't have to be toner foil. It can be toner foil. It can be hot foil. It can be any kind of foil on those toner sheets. It's like magic. <laughs> well, now they'll just have to wait and see where those are from. <laughs> I almost got myself in trouble. Let me remove these things so you guys don't accidentally see them. <laughs> okay, Lee said, I received my Crafty Critter bundles, and they are fantastic. I know there's a lot of Crafty Critter on the way. And they, they do ship quickly. It is um, U.S. Customs that holds them up. But Crafty Krita ships very quickly. So, like, these are the panels that I did the other night. See, I saved them because now I can run these. These are hot foiled. But I save all these so I can run these through my toner sheets. I can't show you some of these. These are yet to be released. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, you have to go back and do a little rewind action and see what it is. Yep. I will just say it's very exciting, this release that's coming out, um, and I'm glad to be a part of it, and you guys will see it soon, October, October, you guys will see it. All right, guys, I must get Leah to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Mom has a doctor's appointment in the morning. She's going to need cataract surgery, so we keep going to the doctor and getting her eyes looked at. And kids both have checkups tomorrow. Xavier is getting his checkup for 
driving permit. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, so big day tomorrow. Thank you guys for hanging out. Everybody have a wonderful evening. If you haven't checked out the Stamp Timber releases again, they come out midnight. Um, any hints about Stamp Wars? Yes. Let me tell you guys about Stamp Wars. The package came, and Tracy didn't tell me that it was a Stamp Wars package, and I accidentally opened it. But before I realized what it was, I didn't see what it was. I saw that there was two stamps in there because I always get two because a winner gets one. So you get one from me, right? And then I realized, oh my gosh, this is Stamp Wars. <laughs> So I, I quick handed it to my son and said, put tape on this, put tape on it. So Tracy is the host. It is uh, Saturday. I can't believe it's a Saturday already. Saturday night, 8 p.m. right here. If you don't know what Stamp Wars is, we are all given um, me, Tracy, Stacy Chow. Um, me, Tracy, Stacy Chow. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? Me, Tracy, Stacy Chow. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have a guest or not. And then there are sabotages. So it's about an hour and a half long show. We're given a stamp set. We're told open it, make whatever she tells us, and then sabotages. This is our 20, is this our 23rd or 24th stamp wars? Okay. Um, so I don't know. T will admin for us. Um, T usually admins for us. Carly tries to admin for us. Sometimes Jerry admins for us. Um, sometimes we have a guest host. Sometimes the person, like whatever the company is, they'll join us. So I don't know who it is. I just, like I said, saw two stamp sets and was like, oh, I'm not supposed to see this. So I gave it to Xavier, had him tape it all up. Yes. 23rd Stamp Wars. Okay. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to everybody's um, channel, make sure you do. We have Create with Chow, Tracy Schultz, SNR Creations of the Heart. Um, Tease is not afraid of color. So we have two Tracys. So we call one Tracy and one T. Tease is not afraid of color. I love Tease because she does these very, T is just a natural teacher. She does these very thorough explanations. She does mixed media. She does a lot of Tim Holtz stuff. So you definitely want to check out hers. She just did a whole bunch of stuff with some new Tim Holtz products. She's got those new Tim Holtz colored pencils. So you definitely want to check all of them out. Chow has some new stuff coming out. Stacy specializes in the scan and cut machine. Um, so definitely want to follow everybody. Yep. Hi, T. T is an amazing teacher, yes. Okay, guys. Leah is looking at me. She is ready to go to bed. So let me go put this child to bed. All right. So Stamp Timber set is all sold out. So again, if you missed out, it's okay. You can go over to Kitchen Sink Stamps and pick up the original butterfly set. If you guys got the Kitchen Sink Stamps Stamp Timber set, congratulations. And, uh, you know, I would love to see what you guys make from either set. Again, the Kitchen Sink Stamps Foiling Snobs Club challenge this month is new beginnings. Butterflies signify new beginnings. So definitely enter your cards and somebody could win a gift certificate to Kitchen Sink Stamps. So definitely look into that. Okay, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Don't forget your thumbs up on the way out. Thank you, everybody.